The sun shines on the mountain village of Sapuag in the southern Philippines, but inside homes are dark. Boyabalos is a farmer. His cell phone is his lifeline, a way to keep track of the world beyond these mountains. With his cell phone, he gets news about his children, about the country, and most importantly, about the weather. To charge his cell phone, Boy Abelos walks 12 kilometers. Walking to the next municipality three times a week, Abelos loses a day and a half each week, time he could have spent earning a living. There are so many people here that uh, they want to uh, connect an electrification from their every home, every house but no budget and they are so very far from the uh, city. To eat, cook and socialize, the villagers of Sabuag rely on kerosene lanterns or open flames. So, when the lamps do work, they can cause respiratory problems or serious burns. One in four Filipinos in the countryside have no electricity. Now a group of determined hikers are bringing light to these villages. It's called Hike for Light. Organized by the foundation Stiftung Solar Energy Philippines, Hike for Light brings solar-powered lanterns to remote mountain communities. The lanterns harness the natural energy of the sun and also double as cell phone chargers. Their main source of, uh, of light right now is kerosene, and it's not very safe. Aside from the fumes, it has burned children. One that we're donating is not just a lamp, but it's a cell phone charger as well. Filipinos love to communicate. Unlike the lamps, solar lanterns are safe. Each has a lifespan of 20 years and won't run out as long as there's sunlight. Renewable energy is a step forward, and for people who are starting from zero, the best way to introduce them to energy is to start with something that is renewable, that is green. The uphill battle is hauling the lanterns to the isolated communities. Hike for Light targeted communities along six of the highest peaks in the Philippines. We're trying to reach all of these places, but that goal is very high. It's like a mountain. The foundation partners with skilled climbing guides from Kaya Nang Pinoy, which literally translates to, the Filipino can do it. With guides like Fred Jamili, who went on the first Filipino Everest expedition, the volunteer hikers make their way to these mountain villages. They journey through rain, heavy brush, and bumpy terrain. The hikers arrive before nightfall. As sun sets, the volunteers set up their shelter alongside the village. Soon darkness closes in, only this night is different. Fred demonstrates how the lantern is portable, waterproof, and durable. Fred grew up with 10 brothers and sisters and no electricity. He marvels at how such a basic need can change lives. You are not just giving light, you are giving hope. Like, you know, uh, what I wanted to have when I was young. Residents who complete a disaster preparedness training get the lanterns for free. Boyabalos completes the three-day seminar. He says his life is brighter. Hike for Light aims to distribute 500 solar lanterns to over 13 mountain communities. Studies show the lanterns have a measurable economic impact. Students studied 45% more. Cash flow increased 25% because people had more time to work. People also saved 4,000 pesos on energy costs. One simple solar solution brings light and a brighter future.